Thank you for introduction. <laughs> there are our disclosures. Mr. Chairman and colleagues, today I'd like to talk to you about the double balloon under <coughs> underwater ESD. Colorectal endoscopic submucosal dissection, or ESD, has been widely accepted. However, it remains a technically difficult procedure. The main reasons are as shown. And moreover, poor visibility in the smoke and misusing electrosurgery. As you see in this movie, we have a lot of smoke and mist in the conventional ESD procedure. To overcome these difficulties, procedural refinements and add-on devices have been developed. I can't. This one. Thank you. One of the solution is to use a technique by performing the procedure underwater. The advantage of these techniques are smoke elimination, elimination of the need for gravity assistance, buoyancy leading to the hydro dissection, optimal zoom due to the <coughs> refraction of the water, and heat sink effect to prevent the damaging the issue, tissue and <coughs> subsequent pathological analysis difficulties. This movie shows the magnification in the water. Here you, uh, you see camera in the water. Magnification is increasing. So far, the literature on the underwater ESC is limited, primarily to case reports and limited case series. We believe that despite the adequate advantage of using these techniques, there are difficulties in setting up the optimal condition to perform underwater ESC procedure. This primarily relates to maintaining the appropriate water level in the digestive tract to maintain a working zone. This is because water tends to mobilize with intestinal movement and gravity. In order to overcome these challenges, we use the double balloon system to perform underwater ESD. This platform centers, stabilizes, and secures the scope tip during endoluminal procedures. Moreover, both balloons, when inflated, create a segmented intestinal space called the therapeutic zone, or TZ. And we found during our experiments that TZ can keep effectively not only the gas, but also the liquid. I should show you the effective, how effectiveness this balloon can keep the water in the TZ, in the silicon column model. You can actually realize the difference in the water level between them. This is a lateral view of them. You can see the difference between no double balloon and using double balloon. To show you our experiment of ESD with double, double balloon system, we created the XPBO pulsing model. This time, we created the region which in three centimeter diameter plus five millimeter margin all around it in advance of the procedure. This is our setting of the experiment. Then, here is the actual procedure of ESD. 
First of all, we started the injecting some mucosa layer in oral half side. And second differential cut. And then some occurs of injection in anal half side and second differential cut. Before dissecting some mucosal layer underneath the region, additional adequate cut for inframarginal some mucosal space, as you can see this. The next step is creating the TZ, followed by the extending for balloon, inflated after balloon to fix the position, and inflated the for balloon. And then fill the saline solution inside the TZ. Before the dissecting some mucosal layer, we add some mucosal injection in the water and start dissecting with the drill knife from the inner side to oral side. Proceeded with dissecting some mucosal layer, the flap elevated towards the surface of the water. Higher water level can provide you more space to work for dissecting. And moreover, water jet can keep the clean visualization and working space underneath the region. The latter half of the procedure, I, we decided to use the IT nano knife with insulator. The motion center towards marginal direction can make the, this maneuver much easier and safer. And this is the last cut of this procedure. And then. We have performed over 50 procedures ex vivo, performed complete reduction with no perforations. Visibility was significantly improved. There is a limitation of our experiment. So, Mr. Chairman and colleagues, in conclusion, here we have that shown that double barrel underwater ESD is technically feasible and may overcome not just the limitation of conventional underwater ESD but ESD as a whole, particularly with a regard to poor visualization from electrosurgery. We also feel that this is a novel method in evolution and double barrel procedure may have the potential to expand capability of endoluminal surgery more moving forward. Thank you for attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Um, I have one question. Do you change your electrocautery settings if you use the underwater ESD compared to your usual ESD? Uh, this, in this experiment, we use the uh, ex vivo model, only the tissue. So basically, uh, the setting of the electrocautery is different in the mm -hmm. clinical uh, study. Any other questions? Great. We look forward to having this uh, possibly in uh, patients soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.